Good evening. We'll go ahead and get the meeting started tonight. Um, Mr. Battles, if you would, would you uh, lead us in prayer and pledge? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together again as a board and as a community to discuss the issues concerning the education of our children. Pray for us and our board members that we make the right decision and work in unison so that we can make a critical decision about the quality of education in Mobile County. Truly, we must go to our slogan that it start with us, let us be the examples so that the people can have the hopes and the dreams that they need. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Did uh, everybody have time to uh, take a few minutes to look at the minutes? Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. So we'll approve the minutes from the previous meeting. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, adoption of the agenda? Move for adoption. I would uh, like to call your attention to a couple of items, please, that have been in added to the agenda since the work session. Uh, action item G3, uh, this is a recommendation that will ask that you approve delaying the last two projects in the 2012 bond construction uh, pro uh, process that we have ongoing right now. Uh, this is due to uh, funding and I want to stress that this is a re recommendation that those last two projects be delayed until funding can be secured to move forward with the contracts. Uh, action item G5 has been added. That's a, a change in the contract for the re-roofing of Callaway Smith. It adds an additional $17,412 to the cost of that project. Action item G7. It is a change uh, in the contract for the re-roofing of Howard Elementary, an increase <clears throat> in the contract price of $4,645. Action item G8 is a change in the LaFour re-roofing project. It's a decrease in the contract price uh, and a decrease of $9,104. G9 is uh, we added the, uh, at, we'll ask your approval with, for Bayshore construction uh, to uh, do the renovations at Phillips Preparatory School. Uh, Bayshore construction was the low bidder, $8,112,000. And then the last G22, uh, we'd ask that you approve an anti-bullying and character development program at Baker uh, High School that will involve students from Baker and Causey Middle at a cost of $2,600, and that's Title I parenting funds. So with those additions, I wanted to point those out, uh, that those items have been added to the agenda. Okay. We had a motion as we'll approve the agenda as amended. As amended? Yes. All right. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? No. Motion carries. Uh, do we have any announcements? Dr. Foster? Yeah, I, uh, I, I was going to mention that um, I had the uh, pleasure of attending uh, the Haskew. Uh, Leadership Day, students, and um, it's based on the Covey model. It's the second year they've been doing it. It was uh, extremely well done. I think the children were very polished, and uh, I just had a wonderful time that morning. And actually left there uh, with one tie list, and I went with because the young man uh, did such a good job and likes to wear ties. I gave him one I was wearing. <laughs> 
Councilman. No, sir. Mr. Battles? No, sir. Mr. Rinko? No, sir. Okay, at this time we're going with our reports and recognitions, and I think our CFO was, I think our CFO is going to go first. She wants to, that's, they just added this. Sorry about that. She says she'll take just a minute. This is a good thing, though. I think this is very good. Yeah. Thank you. We will put it out in the lobby. Chuck, that's a big check. That's a big check. Thank you. Yes, sir. I spoke to the football program this 
afternoon encourage them that despite the problems that we had last year, that they still are some encouragement and you are the representation of that encouragement. So the Montgomery County Public Schools question, uh, public schools certificate of recognition goes to Mr. Adrian Polak of Wilson High School for your generous acts of kindness. Uh, acts of kindness is something that is really unbelievable to young people in our community. So you are an example and a role model. You support that. Yeah, thank you, sir. All right. This also goes to Mr. Tyson S. Patrick of Wilson High School for your journey of acts of kindness and the representation that you and he both represent for Wilson High School. This is part of the thing that we at the school sits are saying it starts with us and it starts with you. Thank you very much. Must be Dr. Foster's. <laughs> uh, Dr. Foster, would you please come forward? Certainly. <laughs> our, our strategy didn't work. <laughs> Meredith. Would you come forward too? Oh. If you, this is where you turn it on. The light was on. <laughs> <laughs> David Meredith has been a part of the Theodore High Choral Department for the past two years. In those two years, he's become the leading tenor in the THS Chorale, has been featured as soloist in Theodore High School's musical theater and classic concerts. David has diligently worked to grow and refine his vocal talent with Theodore High School's choral director, Abigail Lindquist, and his voice teacher, Dr. Thomas Rowell, who is a vocal area coordinator and director of the Opera Theater at the University of South Alabama. Recently, David participated in the National Association of Teachers of Singing Alabama chapter student auditions at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, which is a vocal competition for high school and college voice students from across the state. David was a first place winner in the beginning high school young men's category. And here also, if you want to hear him and the rest of the chorus, Abigail Lindquist, a graduate of USA and former student of Dr. Rao, will be directing David Meredith and the THS Chorale in the upcoming spring concert, and that concert will be held March, March 17th. 17th. We already missed it. Yep. Well, there is, <laughs> <laughs> there is another concert tomorrow at, tomorrow at Baker High School. I think it's 7 o'clock. So and you're going to sing it? I will be there, yes, ma'am. Right. Wow. Will you sing us a song? Uh, I mean, if I can, if yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do you want to go ahead and get that first? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe Dr. Foster can sing with him. Yeah. No, Dr. Yeah. Foster will not sing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. David, on behalf of the Board of School Commissioners Mobile County, uh, we want to congratulate you on winning first place in the National Association of Teachers of Singing, and we want to present you with this recognition, and I notice that your last name is similar to other people that I remember from down <laughs> that area, the Theodore Bilevatry area. And, uh, Trust me, you have done really well. This is not something that it's, you know, getting up and speaking in front of a group is one thing, but getting up and singing in front of a group is entirely something else because you'll be judged by everything. You know that as well as I do. And certainly you have done a wonderful job with that for receiving this recognition and we want to thank you for your efforts. All right, thank you. I think I'll save the song for an arm right here. No, no, no. Oh. I don't have any music to save too. <laughs> Right. I can No, he. <laughs> <laughs> oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet Wonderful. Okay, now I want to talk to you about nationally board certified teachers. <clears throat> Becoming a nationally board certified teacher is not an easy task. It takes hard work, dedication, ambition, perseverance, and the desire to be the very best at your career. Being an NBCT means you have exceeded the highest standards in your profession. Earning this certification signifies that you have voluntarily developed and demonstrated the advanced knowledge, skills, and practices required of an outstanding educator. The standards for each content area and developmental level are created by teachers for teachers. The certification consists of four components, written assessment of content knowledge, reflection of student work samples, video and analysis of teaching practice, and documented impact and accomplishments as a teaching professional. National Board Certification is the most respected professional certification available in education. It provides numerous benefits to teachers, students, and schools. It was designed to develop, retain, and recognize accomplished teachers and to generate ongoing improvement in schools nationwide. Mobile County Public Schools have 42 National Board uh, teachers. We have, I believe, 20 or 21 here today. First, I'd like to bring up Valerie Johnson. She is the liaison between the National Board Certification Organization and the teachers and she's also on the board. Now, as I call you up, if you would just come up here and stand in front here, and here you go. And I'll bring you all up in just a minute, okay? <laughs> all right. From Commissioner Harwell's district, Danette Ballard. Mary Monica Bertolini, Bertolino, Carrie Norris, Anita Salinas, Jessica Tomberlin, Debbie Turner, and Betsy Eager. If you'll stand there, don't sit down yet. And from Commissioner Stringfellows District, Darlene Caslin. There you go. 
Samantha Gray, Valerie Johnson, Mary Knight, and Janet Patton. From Commissioner Crenshaw's district, Miyoshi Williams, who was on a homeroom with Valerie and me and did a fabulous job. They both did. From Dr. Foster's district, Laura Dickens, Mary Fulton, Kimberly Ingram, Kelly Lomax, Carrie Middleton, Julie Nyhart, and Lori Price. From Commissioner Battles District, Susan Davis, and Dana Sims. Did I miss anybody? There are several other teachers that have their certification. The list will be on the web. They could not make it tonight. So, and you, will t you can take their certificates or we'll get a mail to them. So, before you sit down, the commissioners would like to shake your hand and offer you congratulations. Commissioners, would you come forward, please? Who's going to start here? That's all right. You lead the one. We'll follow you, Mr. Battles. <laughs> We can mail them out. But I have all the other ones too. We'll do this. Okay. Be careful of the cord. You know what? I can do that. Move it. There we go. <laughs> What about you? I'm going to turn to I know. He, he didn't have anything to do. He says, hey, look. He's a like me. We must be over there. Ms. Peek, I just wanted to add, you know as well as anybody, all the hard work and extra hours that went into what they had to do, and that's quite an accomplishment, so we're very proud of you for doing that. Ms. Peek, before we leave, uh, or before we move on to the next uh, thing, it, before Bill leaves, we'd like to uh, recognize, if we would, for just a minute, Bill Meredith, who used to all be right. sitting back here where I am. That's and, right. uh, <laughs> And where Doug is now, and I think he probably sat in all of the. Uh, but to see but we're real pleased uh, to have Bill come tonight. Thank you, Mr. Meredith. Was that your grandson? Yes. Okay. Very good. Where did you get his? Uh, where did you get his singing voice from? Not from okay. here. No. <laughs> no. She's, she's pointing over there. <laughs> How you doing, Bill? Hey, Mr. Bell. Good to see you. Yes, buddy. sir. Good to see you. <laughs> okay, we'll move on. Uh, I don't think we have any citizen requests tonight, so Ms. Peek, we'll, we can move on to the action items. Okay. Uh, action item G1, I'd ask that you approve the recommendation uh, to accept the uh, four uh, 400, 4, 5, 7, yes. the first yes. compensation Six, plan 
and uh, the agreement, which is an addition to the plan document uh, through the TSA consulting group. Ms. Chairman. Yes, sir. Offer motion to approve action items G1 and 2. Uh, second. We have a motion to approve items uh, 1 and 2. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Action item G3 would ask that you approve delaying the last two projects of the 2012 bond construction projects uh, as listed and would ask that you please note that this is a recommendation to delay. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I wanted to uh, ask some questions about this on this delay. The first question that I have, could Ms. Pete, could you identify what schools those are? Yes, uh, that would be the last two projects that, as we discussed with you, Mr. Battles, would be uh, Eames Middle School renovations yes. and Ms. Pete, before we do that, we got to get a, can we get a motion in a second, then we'll discuss the items. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay, excuse me. That's okay. Sure. I move for approval on G3. Second for question. All right. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, Ms. P, would you identify those two schools for me, please? Yes. The first is Eames Middle School Renovation and LaFleur, um, not all purpose, but auditorium. The question that I have is to, uh, what is the specific reason for the delay? You say uh, the shortage of, uh, you said 5.3, I think, was listed on this list here. $5.2 million? Yes. Okay. The question that I had was, according to the revised bid schedule, which is uh, scheduled with dated uh, 319, the, those bids are not going to even be done until April or May. So I don't see any reason why we need to delay those projects right now until we can still try to see can we find some funds to have those projects done. Well, Mr. Battles, as you remember when we met the other day with you that the funds we have looked for, all of the funds, and we shared the balance sheet with you. We did. Where there are no existing funds to pull to do this. Uh, in order to bid the projects, which is a lengthy process for the contractors, we can't guarantee that we would have funds to carry out these construction projects. So before we move into the bid phase, we need to make sure we have the funds secured. Well, you know, I had asked you for a delay because I wanted to, if we're talking about a, a bid day according to the revised bid schedule here, which would be, uh, I think that's uh, the 28th of, uh, of April, uh, we currently have outstanding $2.8 million that are for, for people who are going to buy property in our school district, which could be revenue that could be coming in probably. I don't know what the exact time is, but I don't want to get caught into the position where you, we, we, when we talked the other day, you said that we could wait until, the, until October for the new fiscal year. But the new fiscal year preparation time starts in July. So I haven't had any guarantees. What I need to do, I wanted to call a meeting with the uh, policy committee. Because when I ask you about the $2.8 million, you said that the board has to make the decision as to where will that money be going. So I need to have a meeting with the policy committee so that we could determine and get an official policy. When I ask you about what happened with property that sold in the school district, you said that they put it back into the construction fund and they do it for the most need. Well, I consider this to be the most need, and with the time elements that's involved, I think if we had delayed this item tonight, that we could have a time to look at with that 2.8 million, which would leave us uh, 2.4 million short from the projected shortage that you're talking about. And I'm sure we could find that somewhere. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Ms. Bell, you finished? Yes, sir, I'm finished, sir. Okay. Look, I, I want to hear from Ms. Uh, Simpson in terms of the. Uh, funds that possibly be available after October 1. Ms. Simpson, okay. Uh, as we discussed earlier, Mr. Battles, um, we, for the 2015 fiscal year, we had $63 million for state and local capital funds, and we have budgeted that 
Okay. Yeah. I understand that. But Ms. Simpson, those projects that you were talking about as far as the re-roofing, that was not part of the 2012 bond issue, though, was it? No. Yep. That was not part of the 2012 bond issue, but what I'm discussing now is the re-roofing of the Lucas Field Project. Okay. Because that was a bond issue that was not part of the 2012 bond issue. Okay. Well, my concern is, and, and to the board and to Ms. Pete, too, my concern is, is that I've had with, with, with the with the the problem that I've had in County over at Maine Middle School with the continue a question about the delays, it really concerns me because my students and my community are just as important as anybody else. And I want to be just as, but at the same time, I have no difficulty or no concern about not waiting or whatever, but I want some assurance though that this $2.8 million that we already got projected said is going to go into those funds to help alleviate that shortage so that regardless of what we come up with the 2016 budget, we're going to, we, if we if we take the $2.8 million that's scheduled right now with the Augusta Evans property, with the OCR Road, with the Russell Building, that's going to make the shortage come up to, to at least $2.4 million, would make it more attainable for me to complete those projects. Those projects are very important. We have Reverend Fraser and his group here, to, we're going to meet with them tomorrow. I need to be able to take Tell them something concrete that we're going to be able to have something and with a finite decision on it. What we will do tomorrow with the group that's meeting is review the same figures and finances um, that we did. Uh, we can't give you that guarantee about the 2.8 million tonight. But Ms. Pete, you told me, you told me, I don't want you to give me a guarantee. You told me that the board has to make the decision. I didn't ask for you to guarantee it. I want to, I would like to have, I asked Mr. Strangefeller, could we have a policy meeting? The policy meeting will be to develop an assured policy that could be concrete so that once funds are sold in my district or anybody's district, that those funds will go in to going back into the pot to make sure that we have something to complete the prizes. That's all I want to be concerned about. Just fairness, that's all. No preferential treatment, no concern about nobody else, but only what that's justifiable to do, and I think that is only proper. Yeah. Let me let me finish my line of question. Uh, uh, secondly, when, when is the budget process starts for the October 1, 2015-16? July. And, and again, those sources will be funds that was tied up this year. Uh, what was that amount again? So we have not set uh, any proposed items for the 14 million for 15, 16, we haven't. Well, you haven't set okay. any items for the 14, 15, I mean, uh, the 15, 16. Okay. Along with that 14 million that's there, then you get your new capital allocation that comes in in October. So with that and looking at those funds, then there's 14 million that was expended this year out of it that we don't anticipate to be, you know, we won't repeat those same expenditures during this next year. So that's why the item says delay and not, you know, uh, eliminate or indefinitely postpone, but just simply a delay until we have the funds secured in order to move forward with these projects. You know, when we talked the other day, there were three projects on there. That was Indian Springs, that was Mains, and that was uh, 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 John Elder Floor. 
But now we come over two tonight, though. Well, you will recall we talked about the last two that was on there. I mean, we did not talk about the last two. We talked about Indian Springs, uh, uh, Maine's, and John L. Floor in the meeting that we had the other day. Ms. Ms. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to offer an amendment to the motion that the projects be three said project, which includes the Indian Spring, that it be delayed until such funds become available October 1. So now we're talking about three projects uh, that would be delayed. Second the amendment. We have a motion and a second on the amendment. I, I, the only thing I would like to say, Ms. Peek, and I, I know that we had a finance committee meeting, and um, if I remember right, you probably have to correct me because sometimes I don't remember too well, but there was $14 million that was kind of, was actually carryover from last year, the money that she's talking about. There was only like 40, we only get like $43 million last year. I don't know, it could change this year. We could, and, and that's the problem we have. We don't know if the state or federal money that we're gonna get is gonna be the same for construction. We don't know that right off the bat. <clears throat> Let me add the, the, the issue that has arisen with this, and we went over it in the facilities committee meeting, was those unexpected expenses that we had on several construction projects mm -hmm. where there was an overrun on cost. Uh, when the budget's first done for these projects, it's an estimate of what it will do, and then when you actually go through the bid process, when we uh, got to uh, two projects, uh, the Citronelle High School, where there was issues with the land and making sure there was a, a satisfactory land for the foundation, and then Fournier Chestang, we also ran into issues there. Each one of those projects uh, were more than two million over the expected budget. And then there have been some overages along the way, and some that have been um, not, and didn't bid out at the top, but just trying to work within that budget. You don't want to eliminate any projects, but you have to have those funds secured to do it. So with the amendment, with it being three projects, there were three projects on there, it just happened to be the last two were the ones that would have covered the, the shortfall, but with the three, I think delaying the three, then certainly it will be very comfortable until you see the funds that are there. And then certainly we'll bring back to the board when and if the sales of the other property comes up for the board's consideration on what to do with the sales of those properties. Because we do want to be fair, Mr. Battles, and we want to make sure that we get everything we can out of that uh, 2012 bond project. Ms. Peek, I'd like to also say that it's my understanding that the sale of those properties, and Ms. Simpson, you, you can jump in, and Mr. Sheffield, anyone, that uh, those are still pending. Yeah, We're yeah. still in negotiations for them. There is no definitive timeline as to when right now all of those are going to be ready. So if we were to say they're going to be ready by October, I don't know if that might be very optimistic because we've, we haven't even moved forward that far on some of Is that correct? I certainly would like for them to be sold now and that we have the money in the coffers, but uh, when you're conducting sales like this, there are a lot of things that can go on that may delay it. But like you know, Mr. Sheffield? They've actually gone through the city process and in the process of uh, agreeing through the planning commission of the approval of his plans for our property. And that process has been going through, it's a 180 day process which started, I think, in December, somewhere around. So it's a 180-day process. Uh, it could come to close in mid-summer, it, but it's not unusual to ask for extensions when you get into property closings, but yeah. sometimes in the fall. Yeah. Let, me, let me say this for the record, that the third project added is in my district. Uh, I understand that the architect has some health problems. That's another reason why we didn't start on it. But surely that when the... 15, 16 uh, budget is prepared that those projects be given the utmost consideration. And I'll be looking right. forward to having those recommendations uh, hopefully come forward. Thank you. And, and I want to assure you that that's the intent and that's what we want to do to make sure that we fulfill the board's 
plans for all of the schools that were listed in that 2012 bond project? Yeah. Call for the question. Any more questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Motion carries. Uh, before we go any further, uh, Ms. Pika, and not to keep talking about it, but Tom, if you don't mind, uh, in our work session, I think it was last year, Tommy, maybe a couple of years ago, you, you had a list of critical needs for the school system, building-wise. If you don't mind, will you regenerate that thing and have it available for us, just for us to have when we start the budget process? Because there's some, there's some other needs that we need to look at also. But I know one of the needs better be any of spring. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> That's critical, Tommy. All right. Me. All right. There you go. <laughs> Floor. Oh, uh -huh. critical. Tommy, Tommy, do your professional service. You know. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield has to submit that for any yeah. year for the state. That's right. That's unbiased as it shall be. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's just information that we need. The, the board needs to see all that along with the projects. So anyway. All right. Action item G4, we'd ask that you approve the contract changes on Brightland Elementary re-roofing. Uh, it's a decrease of $1,650. Who district is that? Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Who district is that? Uh, that's, that's mine. You can have a 1600 if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it, Bill. That's out of that $14 million that we're re-roofing. Mr. Battles accepts it. I'll take it. Um, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. I'd like to... Uh, Make a motion that we approve items four through uh, 15. Second. We have a motion and a second approve items four through 15. Any further discussion? Read it to the record huh? while we take us a minute. Sorry. Read it to the record while we take us a minute. Oh, yeah, just, just for the record, we already talked about a lot of, all these items in our work session, so that's, that's right. why we can do that. So that's right. we've already talked about them. Any further questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Action item G16, we'd ask that you approve a contract with Heron Lakes Country Club for the Viger Senior Breakfast on May 8th. That is $3,796.50. Mr. Chairman. Oh. Yes, sir. I move for approval action items G15. I think that's the last one. That's right. 16. 16. Or 16, I stand corrected. 16 through 27. 16 through 27. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any, any further questions? Ms. Peek, the only thing I'd like to add, I know that in the work session that we talked about checking with all the other high schools yeah. about some other, you know, we haven't seen all the contracts. I know we had some our last meeting and some this meeting, and you said you was going to follow up with them. So I have you. Well, just don't want to forget to do that. We went back and reviewed, and for the last several board meetings, we have get, been getting representation from all of the high schools. Okay, so good. we'll continue to verify that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Action item G28, we'd ask that you approve certified resignations listed under separate cover. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Uh, so move we approve action item G28 through 32. Second. I have a motion second approve items 28 through 32. Any further uh, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to uh, the action items in H, H1, we'd ask on the consent agenda that you give your consent to out of county travel. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Move for approval, consent agenda items one and two. Second. I have a, a motion to approve item and second one and two. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Under action item I, we'd ask that you approve student expulsions one through nine. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second. Approve items uh, one through nine. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, and action items J, we present for information the monthly financial statements and purchase orders of $5,000 and over in J1 and J2. That's just information purpose. Just for information. Okay. Information. All right. Any uh, items for discussion? 
Old business. Board superintendent request. Dr. Foster. Yes. To speak, uh, I'd ask, I'd sent you an email some time ago about a meeting with, see if you could arrange a meeting with Synergistics and uh, some other people that I had listed on there. You've been able to, or you, we'll get us something right. soon. Right, I'll get it from Friday report. Dr. Foster, uh, Stern? No, that's okay. What's your name? Oh. <laughs> Come on. Mr. Battles? I just wanted to, uh, for a meeting, schedule of a meeting with the, uh, with the policy and development and legal so that we could kind of discuss about the, uh, the distribution of funds from property that's being sold in the school board districts. And when you schedule that, Miss Pete, would you send that to everybody? I like to. I like to be there. Who all was on that committee? Me. I'm a Stringfeld as the chairperson, and who I've already gotten his permission prior to requesting it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. We'll get it scheduled, and I'll send you some possible dates. Thank you, Mr. Stringfeld. Sir, you got any requests? Uh, no, sir. Good. All right. I don't have any today either. Pending matters. Attorney Private, uh, Attorney, you got anything for us today? I'm so confused right now. I sent three emails over the past week, yeah. two of them sure. regarding um, some proposed suspension agreements and one of them regarding pending litigation. <coughs> Ms. Chairman. Yes, sir. So we will concur with the recommendation of the attorney on the pending legal matters as per his email. Second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? No. Uh, I've already spoken with the attorney about which one of these that I'm opposed to, and he knows how to communicate that to uh, Ms. Um, Chambers. Okay. Scheduling the meetings. We have the um, student hearings tomorrow, so we've got student hearings them. tomorrow, and I think uh, Mr. Battles will be here, you'll be here, and I'll be Dr. Here. Crenshaw and Dr. Foster. All right. Also, yeah, this isn't a meeting, but um, as you leave, I'd like to ask each one of you to sign a copy of this. It's a promise to graduate. It's a fifth grade promise for students that's being implemented that they promise uh, to move on and graduate from high school. And uh, it'll be done during the uh, transition ceremonies for fifth graders. And there's one for each one of you to, to uh, sign. Also, uh, along with having hearings tomorrow, uh, we also have at 9 o'clock the uh, Murphy Early College uh, signing ceremony at Murphy High School at 9 o'clock tomorrow for those 50 students that will be uh, joining the Early College. So I'm going to hand these down to you. If you'll take one and just sign it and then give it to me as you leave. Well, that's all fifth graders throughout what, the system. Well, throughout the system in each district. We just need um, every one of you have one to sign. Okay, okay. okay. I'm, I'm sorry, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. We don't follow instructions very well. To speak, if we, um, if you'll give time, <clears throat> I'll meet with uh, Mr. Battles and we'll find an agreeable date for the right. community meeting. Then we'll correspond with you and you can let everybody I know. I appreciate that, Mr. Uh, we'll get a, sure. we'll get both, both meetings. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You want to pass that back? Too late. Wait, no, we'll take a Crenshaw motion. Sure, that's Foster. You ready for my motion? I'm ready for a Crenshaw motion. I'm not making it today. Motion to adjourn. Oh, no, it's going to motion be. Motion to second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, motion to adjourn. We adjourn. Thank you, Chief.